Hey guys, uh, it's me uh, again, and uh, apparently Christopher is uh, stalking my Facebook account, and uh, he does not understand what I wrote right here. Now, this was a post I made back in 2020 where I had like a big, large dispute in 2020, which had to uh, do with the multiple uh, parties. Uh, so one had to do with Black Lives Matter, one had to do with uh, politics, uh, US politics to be more specific about that. One had to do with opinions and one had to uh, do with that. LGBT uh, people, uh, and the other one was uh, how George Floyd actually died. So Black Lives Matter. I was saying, I'm thinking, okay, Black Lives Matter. They do care about Black people. Okay, that's respectable. So, yeah, I was like, okay, but turned out. Black Lives Matter, they don't care about black people, and the fact that they also attack some people uh, over in Connecticut, the LGBT uh, community uh, who uh, live over in Connecticut, Black Lives Matter people literally uh, stormed over there, and uh, they were attacking uh, Black Lives those Black Lives Matter people attacking the LGBT uh, community over in Connecticut, and like. How can you uh, say you are uh, should be respectable? No? Yet you are attacking another community, and the person who actually owned, uh, no, who started Black Lives Matter, um, woman, she using all that money donation that uh, was given to Black Lives Matter. Yeah, she just uh, used that to. Uh, Know, buy some uh, nice fancy mansion in, uh, in a white neighborhood. So, yeah, she was just cheating. Even the black people. And even people who actually uh, tried to uh, you know, form Black Lives Matter too. So, yeah, she was cheating. So, I said, I don't want to like, support Black Lives Matter. They don't really care about black people. And... I really had looked into it, and yeah, yeah, people didn't believe me, and they were calling me a racist for, oh, you don't support Black Lives Matter, oh, you're a racist, SK, and yeah, people were uh, uh, targeting me on uh, Facebook and also Instagram, And then, like the second one, uh, it was, uh, I believe it was the ele election thing uh, for over in uh, US politics. Uh, so, this was like, uh, a couple of years uh, back. Uh, this would have been uh, 2016, or, you know, and even uh, after, uh, and then the 2020, uh, when it was like Donald Trump. Uh, Versus uh, Joe Biden, who was going to get elected uh, U.S. president, and so between twenty sixteen and twenty twenty, I said I don't like uh, Donald uh, Trump. Uh, and especially uh, the most recent one, uh, where Joe Biden, he's the current the U.S. Uh, president, right? So I said I don't like a like I don't like Trump. So, and they said, oh, you don't like Trump, uh, you, you must be, uh, you must like Biden. And then I said, I don't like Biden, and said, oh, you must be a Trump supporter. And unfortunately, uh, US, uh, you say they always bring uh, Canadians into like every single election they have, and like, yeah, no wonder there's so much uh, drama, and uh, all, always uh, bad things coming out of USA, and you know. You know, it's a common stereotype uh, us Canadians have against the U.S. 
I know it's true. USA people, they just hate, hate themselves. And yeah, over uh, you know, in Canada, so I said, you know, people were saying uh, these kind of stuff, uh, oh, Donald Trump, uh, vote him, uh, like him, or, you know. And, and over in uh, back, uh, I believe it was history class, uh, you know, when I was in the grade 10, yeah, people were, uh, there were some, uh, most of the classes, uh, there was a whole bunch of loons, uh, uh, idiots. Yeah, most of them switched to the Catholic uh, high school uh, the next town over, but, yeah, you know, they were, you know, just idiots. They were yelling chunk train and all, uh, all that shit. So I said, uh, I don't like, uh, and yeah, they were literally rubbing it in my face. And in 2020, I said, I don't like uh, Trump. Yeah, I don't like Biden. They were like, you better pick a side. And I said, I don't, I was, I'm staying out of it. You know? They're both hiding things from the general public. They have both did, did bad things. Why should... I have to like people that I don't like, and why do I have to pick a side? I can stay out of it, you know, out of, you know, you want to like them? Okay, just leave me out of it, hey, shit. But of course, they're just regular people, so I don't respect that, but you know, you don't have to like them. Somebody because, you know, and they were saying, oh, and yeah, I lost a lot of uh, Facebook friends uh, and people I actually were uh, very friendly with in, uh, during high school. And yeah, they were blaming it on me for that. And then there was like some uh, girl, I believe she's lesbian. Not that that matters, but yeah, she was really rubbing it in my face. I, oh, you don't like, uh, you don't like Biden. I, oh, if, I believe you know, Yeah, she would. Uh, she liked like Donald Trump. Yeah, and her brother. Yeah, that family. Yeah, uh, you know, they were really into like cars, like vintage cars, and like you know. And even on the new fancy stuff, but uh, and uh, her brother, I believe he's like five or six year old than me, but I don't know his age. I don't. I wasn't really uh, close with him, but you know, I did meet him though so, during high school. So he was like in the grade twelve when I was in that grade nine, or you know, I think he was doing extra year, but and he was uh. I said I want to stay out of it, and like, you know, and he actually picked picked my side, and yeah, you know, who that said I was uh, speaking logic, and you don't have to always pick a side, and I mean I have to make a literal post on that you don't have to make pick a side or anything, like geez, I want to stay out of it, and that is a legal, you know, legit option, like you know you don't have to uh, give an answer, you can just walk away, say nothing. And then there was like uh, LGBT, and even there was that uh, rainbow poppy that some idiot, uh, you know, they, someone literally uh, actually made an actual uh, rainbow poppy, like literally, and yeah, yeah, I had to uh, deal with a whole bunch of uh, people. Uh, uh, Lost more uh, Facebook friends and also uh, you know, people. <laughs> and, you know, I said I was fine with uh, those who were like, like gay or lesbian or, you know, 
bisexual and then you know, they um, other ones uh they have uh, they keep uh, adding more letters or numbers uh and they say i respect them but the pro lgbt people they were really pushing their agenda on people and they said i can appreciate those people as human beings and i could be friends with them as long as they don't push their agenda on me and other people but if they do i cannot respect uh those specific people and then yeah people uh they were turned into big out war and uh, they were targeting me and all that blah 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 and there was that uh girl again as i mentioned uh they were like she likes uh donald trump uh you know Yeah, she the yeah the lesbian girl yeah, and she had uh, several older brothers and uh, actually a sister who's the same age as me actually yeah. Yeah, she would like uh really uh she had it for me uh, and she was uh throwing a lot of insults at me and you know. I don't know if uh, I still have her on uh, my Facebook uh, friend list, but I think I deleted her. I don't have her on my Instagram either, so. And especially uh, the Rainbow Poppy thing. Uh, it was, there was a lot of a dispute over that because that was a very, just exclusive because, uh, but there's only like a zero point zero 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 one percent of the people who are actually from who are LGBT in uh, serving in the army, and what about the other fraction? And you're only uh, being selfish about it. And there are like people like claiming that the that is not the actual uh, thing, and it's not real, and you're lying. Yet, one of my buddies actually, uh, from uh, middle school, uh, although he did uh, move out uh, of town because I, I believe he was one, like one of three people who actually robbed a convenience store uh, at a gas station uh, close to the school. So yeah, I don't know if it was him, but yeah, he just had to uh, move out and go to Toronto or. Richmond Hill and you know I have him on my uh, Facebook friend list and and he and uh, nice guy Zach they were defending me because the guy Brett is his name and he actually uh, went online and apparently there was actually some person who actually designed the uh, a legit actual rainbow poppy and he was selling it the oh this person has actually made it and he literally uh um, dropped the link and even uh, images and everything and yet people were uh, claiming uh brett and uh, me and zach were lying and yeah literally we have to uh, go to like one month uh, full of all that fire and every like 2020 and then 2021 that also happened again because the rainbow poppy thing kept popping up again and i believe she was one of those people who were there was shoving it on me and the other person uh went from uh she to uh he Although, uh, this person, I call her Reedsy, because, uh, yeah, Reed is her last name, but, yeah, she, she, uh, switched names, like, three times, I believe, yeah, so one, and then switched to her other name, uh, guy name, and then, and then switched to another guy name, uh, which is also a girl name, too. And yeah, she was like, yeah, 
first time we had a fight just because uh, she had the wrong time and actually had the right time on my watch. And then uh, she stormed off and like, I called her by her actual name and then she got so mad about it. And then and the English teacher, uh, she was blaming on me, saying she was going through changes. And yet, it was technically her fault because she didn't tell me, didn't tell me she was LGBT and like, I, I uh, changed to a different name. And like, you know, I know people, it, they could just go to the town hall or like city hall and I want to change my name and, you know, you change, uh, you know, your birth certificate, your driver's license, your health card, your passport, everything. Yet, Reed Z, she never told me. And technically, I blame it on Reed Z. And yeah, she was the one who was really rubbing it in my face, like, Arr. And yeah, she was also one of that, Reed Z, yeah. Has a boyfriend, but yeah, Reedy acts like a girl. I don't know. I don't know if he, um, Reedy turned into a bisexual, but she acts like one. And yeah, she has me blocked, I believe, just because technically she was in the wrong. And ever since that uh, time, uh, you know, she didn't uh, say she changed her name or uh, said she was changing her gender. But, you know, better not tell everybody that you are changing something instead of a uh, surprise. Now I'm just leaving it for the last minute like, and blaming it on me. And then there was like, uh, George Floyd, that one. You know, we all heard that on the news, uh, that was in, uh, 2021, I believe, yeah, it was. Yeah, they was said, black man, you know, was stopped by a police officer after visiting uh, some convenience store for using a uh, counterfeit bill and you know didn't uh, was acting all uh, shaky and nervous and didn't have his hands on the wheel and then you know the, I feel like he had a seizure and the officer that uh, did put him uh, behind the car and then officer Derek Chauvin uh, put uh, his knee on his neck and it was suffocating him. But they're also in a, included in the report that it was also methamphetamine, which is a short form for meth. That is a prescription uh, drug. So it can also be uh, used uh, just as uh, people just use it as a drug to get high and stuff. And then there was also fentanyl that was also mentioned, which that one is a gateway drug. So both meth and fentanyl is uh, made up of two, like, and two, three compounds. So carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen. Yet fentanyl, being a gateway drug, also has a oxygen compound. So it was uh, perceived as uh, within that two hours that uh, George Floyd had uh, dropped that uh, the counterfill right, mill, and also he was uh, also uh, been given uh, methamphetamine by some drug uh, lord. Not of the prescription, but just to get high. And 
and fentanyl uh, have the lasting effects of two hours so of course uh, Derek Chauvin his um he him uh, putting uh, his neck on George Floyd would have uh, stopped his uh, his breathing and also not to forget the oxygen compound yeah there it also had a negative effect there so methamphetamine was the first cause and then uh, because the like, he was all shaky, he was on he was high, and he couldn't uh, focus. Uh, and even the officers, uh, they were, of course, you're supposed to put your hands on the wheel, and you know, of course, they would uh, tell you to put your license, bring out your license and re registration. Or get out of the vehicle. If that uh, offense is uh, pretty serious, uh, and then the second part was uh, Derek Chauvin actually uh, putting his neck, leg, knee on his uh, George's neck, but people only think of the second uh, cause uh, was uh, just Derek Chauvin instead of think. He, about methamphetamine and there have been there were like two people who were like really trying to attack me on uh, Facebook and White Herser and uh, his uh, girlfriend uh, Caitlin White and yeah I believe they uh, you know I believe Caitlin uh, she went to the same high school as me and White went to uh, some other uh, the Catholic high school next town over and or maybe uh, she did too I had them on my Facebook friends list uh, because I had uh, met uh, Wyatt uh, during uh, grade uh, 4 to 6 uh, because we had to go on the same school bus. Uh. And uh, mostly uh, Caitlin who was like flipping out and she was literally spamming, uh, sending me uh, messages on Instagram uh, like no, you're lying. Uh, this is all false information. And she didn't even look up uh, what methamphetamine is and the compounds and the lasting effects or any troubles uh, that can be caused. And yeah, I even had to share it on my Facebook uh, as a several posts and even on my Facebook stories, but they didn't believe me. I lost a lot of Facebook friends and all the people I knew through high school and yeah. So that was pretty much the post because some people just just think they, they can't respect that people have those opinions. And there was a theory, uh, the six or nine uh, theory, which something like if you look at it, one side of the number it looks like a six if you look at them from the other side it looks like a nine and two people are arguing six nine six nine but whoever actually drew the number wouldn't know the actual answer and technically both answers would be uh, correct but you'd have to uh, know the actual uh, legitimate it's uh, truth to you know, oh, okay, this is not actually a six, or if this is actually a nine, okay. And then they just shake hands and you know, call it a day. And yet, uh, Christopher, being uh, such a loon himself, uh, you know, shit for brains, uh, really uh, didn't know about that theory, and that theory really uh, does work in many situations and just some people they just uh, can't uh, accept that people can have an opinion uh, of uh, certain things and which some things there is no right or wrong answer at all but if there's a some, some marker that uh, does prove that this is right you have to uh, reckon that okay this is the truth and if there's the actual scientific logical facts, and yet you put feelings over actual facts, yeah, there's something wrong with you. So, 
Christopher Patrick being the creepy as well. He's actually stalking my uh, Facebook account. And yet he wouldn't uh, you know, think why this guy even made that and you know, even think pretty logically. Pretty stupid uh, for an adult, don't you think? Use the 6 or 9 theory. It, it'll help uh, end an argument.